For this project, of course, you need a vintage computer. In my case, it's an Apple IIe. You also need a working disk drive, some disks. Oh, and this is important. You need double density disks, not high density disks. They can be single or double side, but they must be double density and not high density. High density disks will not work, okay? So we also need blank disks. And finally, a modern computer to install ADT Pro, and ADT Pro needs Java to work, so if you don't have Java installed, you also need to install Java. You'll find the links to everything in the description below. However, since we are using the audio transfer, this computer needs an in and out port or a dongle like this. So here you can see my labels because the cables have the same color. So this is Mac out. This is going to the in port on the Apple II. And the out port from the Apple II is coming to the in port, the microphone port on this dongle. The reason for the two cables is the communication that's going to happen between the two computers. Uh, the modern computer, in this case the MacBook Air, will send part of the software to the Apple II. The Apple II will then record that part, save that part to a disk, and then the Apple II has to signalize the modern computer telling the Air to send another package. That's why you need the in and out ports connected on both computers. Turn on the Apple II, use Control reset to stop the disk drive. Everything is ready, so let's go back to ADT Pro to start the process. Choose audio. Okay, now let's go to bootstrapping, and here you can see that there are two options, Pro DOS and DOS. It's the same, but some Apple IIs are compatible with Pro DOS and others with DOS. Since I'm using a 2E, I'm opting for Pro DOS. The first thing we need to do is send Pro DOS. However, if you have a modern Pro DOS card or a way to boot uh, on Pro DOS, you don't need to do this. You can start go straight to this option here, ADT Pro Audio Client. So let's go to Pro DOS. And from now on, everything you need to type on the Apple II or IIe, it's going to be here, each step a new window will pop up here. So don't, don't use these numbers, use the ones that show on your window. All you have to do is pay attention to these pop-up windows and type exactly what is on your window. So let's do it. Okay, now back to ADT Pro. Okay, and it's gonna start sending data to the Apple. Okay, there is another instruction here. So it's telling us to type 203G. So let's do it. And there it is. We have Pro DOS on the computer. Now upload ADT Pro. <laughs> Can here. So here we go send ADT Pro client. Again, we have new instructions here, so let's type that. But note that I didn't type the instruction, the first instruction, call minus 151, because the prompt is already an asterisk, so we only need to type the part that is after the asterisk on the instruction. Okay, we have a new instruction. This one now is 800G. We now have ADT Pro here. The first thing you want to do is format a disk. So let's do it. I'm going to type F. This is the disk. Enter. You can give it a name or not. I'm just going with blank. Then yes. And it's now formatting that disk. No, I don't want to format another disk. So now we are going to the receive menu. If I type here, it's going to prompt me to add a file name, but if I simply type enter, it's going to show me 
all the files I have on the other computer. Let me show you where, the, where these files are. So let's go back to the other computer. If you go to Files, Applications, Files, Applications, and then open ADT Pro, Disks. This is where all the images are. If you add something here, it's going to show up on that list. The first thing I'm going to copy is ADT Pro itself. Doing this, we don't have to send ADT Pro every time we want to send another software. So let's create an ADT Pro disk. Enter. Waiting. It's asking where. Our disk is the blank one. So enter again. So now, this computer is sending a block of information that is being received by this one. And as soon as this reaches the end here, the Apple tool will start recording that part to the disk. This is going to take a while, so be patient. <laughs> In a way, I like the fact that this takes a while. It's, it's relaxing. This is the total blocks that will be received. We are at 32 at the moment. And when this reaches, when this line reaches the end here, we'll see the Apple II recording the blocks onto the disk. Let's take a look at the disk. It's almost there. Any moment now. Okay, we are now starting at 45, 44, 48. And when that reaches the end again, it's going to save that another uh, block to the disk. And this will happen until we reach 280 uh, blocks. If everything goes according to the plan, you get this message, complete, press any key to continue. Now, this disk has ProDOS and also ADT Pro. So all we need to do is restart the computer to send a new software. Come on, open Apple, reset. And here we go. It's reading from there. And we have ProDOS here and of course, ADT Pro. Now we need to choose audio. And we are back to that menu. This time was much faster, right? <laughs> so all you have to do now is repeat the process to copy another disk. After formatting a new disk, go to receive, choose a new file and do it again. Just remember that this disk here is ADT Pro, so you have to remove this one and add a new disk before choosing the format option. As you have seen, it takes a while, but it's straightforward, no mystery there. However, it took me a long, long time to get to this audio setting. The thing is, the audio tuning has to be precise. It can't be too high, it can't be too low, and you have to experiment, try to find the correct setting. Your computer may be different, the cables, the dongle, everything may be different. Of course, I can help you with a starting point, which I didn't have when it took me a while to figure this out. You'll find in the description below a link to an article. Inside that article, you see a print screen of the setting I'm using on this computer. And that's another reason why I wanted a dedicated computer. I don't want to have to set that audio all the time. This is a computer I'm not using anymore. It's there just for this project. Well, I hope you liked the video. If the information was useful, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. See you soon.